everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Over the last couple weeks we've went over the different segments of the erector spinae muscles. This week we're going to go over the last segment of the erector spinae muscles, okay? Now with each segment, like I said before, there's three mini segments to each section, alright? And there's always exceptions to the rule. Now I'm going to give you the exception to the rule in this video. As I stated before, I had said that there were three uh, segments and they all have their individual name plus the common names between them. Okay, normally they would have the capitis, the cervicus, and the thoracus muscle along with the individual names. So this one, uh, the last ones would have been the spinalis, capitis, the spinalis, thoracus and the spinalis cervicus and then we had the longismus capitis, the longismus cervicus and the longismus thoracus. So you would only assume that it would be the same for the iliocostalis. Well there is an exception to the rule. Okay, So we're looking at for the iliocostalis we have an iliocostalis cervicus, we have an iliocostalis thoracus, and we have iliocostalis lumborum. Okay, so there is no capitis muscle underneath the iliocostalis muscles. There is a lumborum. Okay, so from top to bottom, we're looking at the cervicus, the thoracus, and the lumborum for the iliocostalis muscle. And the iliocostalis muscle is the most lateral segment to the erector spinae. So it's the most outer portion of the erector spinae muscles. So from center to outer segments, we have the spinalis, the longismus, and then the iliocostalis, all right? So I will start from the top and work my way down the spine. Just to keep confusion down, I'm not going to go over um, the names to the vertebrae. Uh, please keep in mind that the vertebrae starts with the cervical spine, they moves to the thoracus, then the lumbar, and then the sacrum. Okay, so there's four different uh, sections to it, and they go in that order. Okay, so whenever I discuss where it is, I'm going to give you uh, some information. It's a lot of information. I know I understand that, so I'm just trying to eliminate any confusion that there may be over the course of this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, post a question in the comments for other people to see as well. Don't be uh, scared or hesitant to do so. I will answer any questions that I will have or that you have for me as long as I um, understand and know what you're asking. If I don't know the answer, I will be gladly to look it up for you or I will forward you to the person or company or whoever that may know that answer. Okay, so anyways, let's get started on this muscle so we know what this muscle does, where it is, and what we can do to work it out. So, the iliocostalis muscle, like I said, is divided up into three parts. I'm going to start from the top, which is the iliocostalis cervicus muscle. Okay, so the iliocostalis cervicus muscle originates on the superior borders of the angles uh, on the ribs three through six. Yes, excuse me. The superior borders of the angles of ribs 3 to 6. Okay, so it's 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then insert onto the posterior tubercle of the transverse processes of C4 through 6. So it's C4, that cervical ver vertebrae 4 through 6. Okay, so we're looking at a location um, that's around about right in here okay so the third through sixth rib is pretty much in between the shoulder blades okay and I don't know if you can see that so it's pretty much between uh, my fingers for the origin okay the insertion being on those transverse process on the posterior part of the transverse processes of C4 to C6 okay so again that's probably right about through here Okay. All right. Now the function of the iliocostalis cervicus muscle is to extend 
or hyperextend the vertebra. Okay, so we're looking at as far as extension goes, we're looking at from here and then back to neutral. For hyperextension, okay, we're looking at going past neutral, hyperextending, overextending the spine, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So, moving on to the iliocostalus thoracus muscle, which is the next one down, we're looking at an origin of the superior borders of the lower six ribs, and then inserting onto the superior borders of the upper six ribs in the transverse processes of, excuse me, the transverse process of C7, okay? So we're looking at for an origin, again, on the lower six ribs, so that's right about in there, all right? And then inserting on the superior borders of the upper six ribs and that transverse process of the cervical vertebra. So we're looking at, again, between the shoulder blades and all the way up to here, okay? That's around about where the uh, last cervical vertebra is, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So for the action or the function of the iliocostalus thoracus muscle, we're looking at extension and lateral flexion of the thoracic spine. Again, extension is from bending over to a neutral spine, all right? Lateral flexion would be like this. Now remember, this is of the thoracic spine, which is pretty much right through here, okay? So lateral flexion would look like this more than this, okay? This would be more of um, almost like a lumbar lateral flexion be, do, because it would be so low. So we're looking more at right in here, okay? So moving on to the last segment of the iliocostalus muscle, we're looking at the iliocostalus lumbar muscle. The origin of this muscle is on the iliolumbar fascia, the posterior medial lip of the iliac crest, and the post, um, excuse me, the lateral crest of the sacrum, and the spinous processes of T11 through L5, all right? And then inserting onto the inferior borders of lower sixth and seventh ribs, okay? So we're looking at right in through here, okay? Remember that uh, the medial uh, lip of the iliac crest, excuse me, and the lateral border of the sacrum. So we're looking at right around in here and up through here, okay? So it does span out or fan out at the bottom, so it looks like it angles out a little bit here, okay? And then runs up your back, okay? And then hits onto the lower sixth and seventh ribs here. So that's right about in through here somewhere, okay? <coughs> so the function of the iliocostalus lumbar muscle is lateral and lateral flexion and extension of the lumbar and thoracic spine. Okay, so again, extension is up to neutral, and then lateral flexion, we're looking at more here now. Okay, we're looking at the lower uh, thoracic spine and the lumbar spine, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and insert some uh, exercises into the video right here so that you guys understand uh, what exercises that you can do to help strengthen the erector spinae muscles. Please keep note that uh, there are certain functions of the different muscles that I did not include in exercises because it's not the primary function of the erector spinae. So we're looking at mainly the extension of the spine or the hyperextension of the spine. Please keep in mind whenever you are exercising any of these erector spinae muscles, they are more likely to take longer to 
uh, recover or repair or anything like that. Uh, so if you notice that you're super sore after working them, please take the time and wait until they calm down or don't go as hard the next time so you don't have any chance of, well you wouldn't have any chance, but uh, you would decrease your risk of injury with the lower uh, back or the spine whatsoever. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and answer your exercises here. videos I know it's a whole lot of information to take in and I do appreciate your uh, time for watching and I thank you guys so much for watching and sharing and liking the videos and posting your comments so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to attach them in the comment section I will try to get back to you as soon as I can um, I do have other things that I need to get taken care of but I do make time to answer my comments and questions so Go ahead and post something below and I will probably see it tomorrow or yes, tomorrow. So happy training everybody. See you guys later.